Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm going to do an updo on my daughter today. And I, this is for any of you that have children that have this like crazy hair. And you're just like, ah, oh, what am I going to do with it besides throw it back in a ponytail? So let me show you a quick way to actually, you know, do a hairstyle that you don't need really any preparation or anything uh, to do. You know, you're out and about and you're like, okay, come here, let me fix your hair real quick. So getting all the knots out of the hair, obviously. You know, and it, on a kid, I, I always hold it into a ponytail, combing the bottom first, and then you work your way up, and that's less painful for the child. Um, so I'm going to comb all these knots out, and this is actually what's called a Gibson hairstyle. Okay, so if, you know, actually if you have some water or something, if you don't, that's fine. I'm going, you know, let's say you're out and about and you're like, oh, your hair looks crazy. So get a little bit of water and spray it in the front here. I have spray gel. So if you're actually going to do this at home, you want some spray gel. So hairspray or whatever is going to comb it and make it a little bit more smooth in front, obviously. Okay, so I'm taking all of her hair back into a ponytail and you see how it's nice and smooth smooth okay so turn around to me so we have the ponytail here and it's a low ponytail and I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to put this in here just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that rubber band down a pinch I'm going to open this and make a pocket. Remember, this is called a, Gib a Gibson hairstyle for you ladies out there who would like to try this. It's actually a very professional style. So I'm going to I'm going to make what is like a pocket. I'm not going all the way through. Let me turn this way. I'm not going all the way down through to the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn, after you make that pocket, you're going to push all of that hair into the pocket. Push it on the sides, push it straight down. Let me show you guys what it looks like once you put it all in the pocket. Okay, turn around so they can see. This is what it looks like when you push it into the pocket. Now, you know, you just take, you can take a, uh, you can leave it this way because it sure looks a hundred times better than what it did look like. Or if you have something, you can pin it together right here to close it. For us, we're going to add a little accessory today. So I got this just regular flower, and I got a pin here, and I'm going to put half through the flower, half through her hair, half through the flower, half through her hair. So I just did that, and then I just grab it, and I put that pin, that um, sorry clip, holding the top of her hair, and that's what it looks like, you know. So let's turn and show them. Let's go over here. See, this is a side view. A side view, see, it shows that it goes out. If I take this off, show you guys one more time. It just gives this like Victorian type of do, you know, and I can actually do an updo later showing you guys how to get this more like Victorian updo. But see, that's without, that's the side profile, how it does. And then remember, I'm just going to take a regular flower. I'm going to get one of these clips. You could actually do this with a bobby pin as well. And I'm just going to clip it into her hair. So turn and show them. And then the other side. And if you're wondering about my updo, it's posted on my Facebook. I believe it's an updo with a braid or something like that or a bun, a sock bun with a braid. Uh, so I am Christina Marie, and this is, and we are out. I hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial. Bye.